Oh God, I'm sweating. It is getting really difficult to film these days. It is getting really, really hot. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to yet another video. I hope you all are doing fine and a very, very happy holy to you and your family just like this festival of colors may your life is full of different colors and happiness and a lot of prosperity and i hope you enjoy your holy to the tea but make sure to take care of your hair and skin properly during this time because however fun holy is it is also the time wherein your skin and hair get the most amount of damage and i'm sorry if my hair looks in a bizarre condition because it has a reason I have not washed my hair and why that you'll get to know in the video ahead. So yeah, if you want to know how you can take care of your skin and hair while enjoying this festival of colors, then keep watching this video till the very, very end. But if you are new to my channel, hi, my name is Sony Mishra. I post beauty and lifestyle content here on my channel. So please take out a moment and subscribe to the channel down below. I promise you are going to have a fun time here. So hit that red subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell right next to it so that you get notified every time I upload a new video that is on Tuesdays and Saturdays and YouTube shorts almost daily and today is just a bonus video because I missed an upload last week so just to compensate and also because it was the perfect time to make this video so I'll just put on some color on me to have that holy vibe going on so I And also this holy inspired colorful makeup look is up on my Instagram and YouTube shorts. So if you have not checked it out, check it out after this video. So now all that things kept aside, let us just dive right into the tips and tricks that you need to keep in mind before playing holy. So first I'll begin with the hair, then face, nail and the body. I have my notes ready here. So I'll go one by one through them because I didn't want to miss any of them. So I just wrote it down. First tip is the reason why my hair looks so uh, bizarre and my scalp is very oily because I haven't washed my hair since two days and that is what I will recommend you to do. Do not wash your hair two to three days prior to holy because uh, your scalp will start secreting oil and that will create a barrier between the harmful chemical colors and your scalp and your hair will not get damaged directly from the root and second tip will be to go an extra step ahead to again protect your hair just massage good amount of oil on your scalp and your lens just so that again there is a barrier between the color and your hair and your hair does not get in direct contact with those colors otherwise your hair will get really really dry dehydrated and they look just dead after holy so make sure you put a good amount of oil on your hair you can go ahead with any oil that you want but i will prefer and suggest coconut oil third point will be uh, now i know you you must have some hairstyles in your mind that you want to wear this holy but i would suggest you to go with some hairstyle that does not have your hair open do not keep your hair open during the holy season just tie them up in some way or the other preferably a bun or a braid okay now you can style your hair beautifully in different types of braids you can go for french braids dutch braids they look really really stylish and it will protect your hair uh, at the same time okay. fourth and the last tip for hair care is an optional tip it does make a difference but it is not mandatory like the other three you can tie a bandana or scarf around your head now again it will give you an extra layer of protection uh, to the roots of your hair but that is completely up to you if you want or not now coming to the face now the first tip that you want to do early morning on the day of holy is to give your face an ice bath either take a bowl put ice and water in that and dip your face about three to four times in that or just take two to three ice cubes not directly in a uh, cotton cloth and just rub it all over your face uh, for a good minute or two what that does is uh, the ice will just shrink your pores and it will prevent the color from directly entering your pores and clogging them so if you have acne prone skin this tip you must follow and you must protect your pores otherwise your pores are just gonna get clogged with all those dirty and harmful chemicals and you are definitely getting a bad breakout after holy then the second tip 
is to keep your skin very very hydrated it is very very important uh, because all those colors just trip away the natural oil and your skin will get very very dehydrated and damaged so uh, what you can do is first you can go ahead with a hyaluronic acid serum now that serum gives you a good amount of hydration your skin will look plump and juicy and very very hydrated at the same time if you do not have hyaluronic acid serum that is completely fine go in with a good layer of moisturizer preferably a thick and non comedogenic moisturizer non comedogenic means it will not clog your pores and apply a good amount of moisturizer on your face according to your skin type do not go very very heavy with moisturizer if you have an oily skin type uh, go for a light gel based moisturizer if you are a dry skin type go for a thick cream moisturizer and the next step is hands down the most most important step that you have to do you just cannot step out without a sunscreen so you have to go with the sunscreen use any sunscreen that you have preferably a 50 plus spf do not go anything beneath 50 spf because it has been very very hot lately outside and holi wale din you will play with water and everything and you're going to get very very bad sun damage and you do not want that so just slap on a good amount of sunscreen cover your whole face your neck everything properly do not leave an inch of your skin without sunscreen on holi because that is very very important coming on to the lips again use a lip balm good lip balm just to keep your lips moisturized and hydrated uh, now coming to ears now i know we tend to skip that part a lot because we just don't uh, tend to give that much focus there but tell me this doesn't after holy your ear is the part where most of the color is settled here it is stuck there and it takes days to get off so you have to take care of that as well just go in with petroleum jelly vaseline and apply it very properly all the corners of your ear so that the color does not stick to your ear and it is not stuck there and uh, it will be easier for you to remove so go in with vaseline on your ear and now there is a don't that you should not do on your face on holy and i'm sure a lot of you have been doing this for past lot of years and you might do this year as well but do not put coconut oil on your face i know all our moms and dadis everyone tell us to just slap on a lot of coconut oil so that the color does not stick to your face yes coconut oil will avoid color sticking to your face but so will moisturizer and it will keep your skin hydrated as well but coconut oil is comedogenic it will clog your pores and you will get a breakout if you have an acne prone skin so do not put coconut oil on your face whatsoever go in with a good amount of moisturizer and sunscreen and you will be good to go do not apply coconut oil do not do not okay that was the last tip for the face now coming to the nails because i know if you have long nails and if you like growing your nails then taking care of your nails is also important during holi because i know color gets stuck around the cuticle in the nail beds and it just take days and weeks to get your nails in proper condition after holi so the first point will be to trim your nails shorter because when we play holi we tend to get all crazy mad here and there running around and your nails might get stuck here and there and they might break so it is better to trim them to a size that it will not break or crack while playing holi and uh, it will be comfortable for you as well grow them later Just secondly apply two to three coats of some dark nail paint so that your nail is prevented from staining uh, go in with petroleum jelly apply good amount of petroleum jelly under your nails and around your cuticles because these are the places that the color tend get stuck a lot lot so go in with the petroleum jelly or olive oil olive oil will also prevent staining and it also will nourish your nails at the same time so with that we are done with the nail care as well now coming to the body we tend first and foremost no waxing before holi now i know you'll be wearing half sleeve uh, cut sleeves and all that uh, and you want your arms very smooth and uh, hair free but 
I personally don't feel that matters a lot but if it does to you then you might go ahead with whatever you like uh, even if you are waxing go for waxing a week before holy and not instantly 2 3 days before holy second apply good amount of body lotion now again because you have to stay hydrated from the top till the bottom apply a good 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 amount of body lotion preferably a one with spf that will be very very good but if you do not have a body lotion with spf just go on with the layer of body lotion and top it up with spf uh, but you have to top it up with spf because your skin gets really really badly tanned during holy because of all that water and sun damage is very very bad yeah. and also try and wear something that covers your body as much as possible go for full length trousers uh pajamas whatever you're wearing go go for full length go for full sleeves on your hands as well and whatever portion of your neck is uncovered hands are uncovered go in with an extra layer of spf so so that you just do not give any chance for sun damage just keep yourself protected as much as you can because and also i forget to mention one thing do not exfoliate before holy do not exfoliate your face no physical scrubs no chemical exfoliation nothing of that sort because that tends to leave your skin very very sensitive and again it will open your pores and you just don't want to invite any kind of damage to your skin so avoid any kind of physical physical or chemical exfoliation 2 to 3 days before holy so with all that we come to an end of the pre holy skin body hair nail care everything now i just want to stay here for some more time and uh, share with you quick post holy tips because it is important to take care of your skin and hair after holy as well so the first point is after playing holy your skin is really really sensitive for a couple of days so make sure you do not wax you do not exfoliate physical exfoliation chemical exfoliation whatever neither to your face nor to your body for at least 3 to 4 days after holy and let your skin recover from all the sensitivity that it has got secondly again because your skin is sensitive you do not want to use any kinds of actives for at least 3 to 4 days again do not use any actives just go for that basic ctm apply a gentle cleanser gentle toner and a good amount of moisturization give that moisture and hydration back to your face because your skin has gotten dehydrated after holy uh, just try and stick to oil based cleansers for some days use cleansing balms or uh, anything that is oil based because that will again uh, melt your colors and everything and it will help to remove those colors more properly so, do not use any alcohol toners do not just go for a rose water that's the best yeah. and if you feel that your pores are not clean properly or that your skin is very very dehydrated go for masks go for clay masks if you want to deep clean your pores go for sheet mask if you want that hydration back to your face you can, you and can. after 3 to 4 days you can start using your actives and exfoliators again just start slow and you can go for waxing 3 to 4 days after holy because that will uh, get rid of all the hair unwanted hair that you want uh, and it will also get rid of the top dead skin layer uh, from your body and it will also help to remove the top layer of tanning that you have gotten so try going for rica wax or chocolate wax that is really really helpful yes these were all the tips that i would recommend you to please keep in mind before and after holy have a lot of good jars play with color water have a lot lot of fun but do not forget to take care of your skin and hair because you need them after the festive season also right and it will get in a very very bad condition if you just neglect them right now so keep all these points in mind and you will be good to go with this we come to the end of today's video a very very happy holy to you and your family again have a lot of fun i hope you like today's video and you found it helpful and if you did please consider hitting the like button and drop your views in the comment box below and any type of suggestions or videos that you want me to do all in the comment box below uh, and if you are not subscribed to my channel yet please do so now we are so close to hitting 500 and uh, i'm just really really excited just hit that red subscribe button and the notification bell right next to it so that you get notified every time i upload a new video and if you are not following me on my instagram yet please do so now this is my handle 
now i will see you super super soon in my next video till then stay safe stay healthy happy happy holy to all of you bye bye